What's up guys, what's going on? It's your boy here, Rye Beats. Ryan, how's everybody doing? Uh, today we are doing some vinyl work. Actually, today I was planning on um, reclaiming some screens. I got some there and I got some on the rack. Whoa, whoa, you see like right there. Um, it's just too dang hot, so I'm not gonna do that today. Uh, yeah, we got some vinyl work to do. Uh, just got a handful of shirts that I gotta um, heat press, I guess. Cut the vinyl, weed it, heat press it. This job is actually for a friend of ours. They're going to a concert, so they want to wear shirts. Yeah, so um, yeah, we're gonna do stuff in vinyl. I haven't cut anything in vinyl in a while, so I figured it's the opportunity to do it, right? I'm actually and finally gonna be using uh, the vinyl that I got from Sin. Uh, prize that I got a few months ago, maybe almost a year now. Look, still packaged up. I just opened the package. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a, um, a front hit, and we're gonna do a sleeve. Hopefully, hopefully do a sleeve. If it turns out right, we'll do the sleeve. If not, we're just gonna do a front hit. So let's go ahead and load up the design on the silhouette, and hopefully it works. Maybe. Okay, so here's one of the the artwork or design they wanted printed. Uh, what we're going to do is let's see bear with me guys we're going to open and trace panel trace area trace this area let's see I think we have to do a solid right or is it an outline Hit the trace button it looks good now we're gonna go to send we're gonna go heat transfer smooth do an auto blade. Uh, what are we doing? We're going to cut. Uh, what are the options do I have? Heat transfer, right? Yep, heat transfer smooth. Okay, so what we're going to do now is turn on. Oh, it's unavailable, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Turn this thing on real quick. Go ahead and feed the vinyl in. Okay, so back here, it says it's ready, it's green. Let's hit send. Uh, yes, we want it mirrored. Creating cut job. And it should. Whoa. See that? Why to do that? All right, guys. So it looks like it finished. I don't think it did the job correctly. So I'm. Um, let's see. Let's go advance to cross cutter in the back. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Let's just unload it. Uh. Look at it, it's all like jaggedy. I don't I don't understand why it's I don't know. Let's check it out before I do the other ones. Alright, let's start weeding this out because uh I don't think it did it right. It's very I don't know. See how it's all jagged? That ain't gonna be, look at it. I'm just, I'm just gonna throw this away, but. Look at this. All right, see how it's jagged on the edges? I don't know why. Well, that was really, really pointless. All right guys, so I sent a different design through it looks like it's uh, going to cut it correctly but 
one thing that I really hate about this silhouette, or I should say whatever hate, but when you load it, um, the uh, the vinyl, the vinyl gets stuck, and sometimes it goes in the back, in this area where it shouldn't be, it should be feeding through the back. So every time I have to come back here and fish it out and hopefully I can get it in time before it gets stuck but um, yeah so that's the only thing that I don't like about this maybe I'm doing it wrong if you guys can help me out and let me know um, because of how the um, the vinyl is rolled up it gets stuck it rolls up like this and it get you know it roll it rolls up into itself so it either gets stuck here or when it's cutting and it's going toward the back, it, get, it comes up here. So I don't know. If there's a solution for that, hope you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know what's going on, but I'll show you when, um, when I do the next one. So it looks like this one's gonna be cutting correctly. I did do a test print. I don't know what it is, but. So I just let it cut a little bit. If I can find it. Oh, here. So, as you guys can see, it's not jagged compared to, uh, sorry, I tore it up. You guys can see here, look, the edges right here, it's all jagged and messed up. I don't know why I cut like that. You guys can see here on the E, look at the E. It's really bad. Now, here you guys, look. See how it's going through the back? Which is not supposed to go through there. I was going to get stuck, so I have to come back here and fish it out. All right, so before we send another project in, let's just double check, make sure. Uh, I hope I didn't cut the project. Let me see. That was actually much quicker than the first one. I should have known when I saw the needle like jumping like this, up and down. I should have known something was up. Uh oh. Looks like the blade didn't go through. Look. What is going on? Well, I'm a little bit irritated as uh, the vinyl silhouette cutter didn't cut all the way through. Um, is this the auto blade? Auto blade, the sense is cut. Heat transfer smooth. Maybe I should put vinyl transfer. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I guess try it again. Um, it was cutting on the auto blade two, the number two setting on the blade. So what we'll do is we'll do it on the three setting. Guys, look, here's the, uh, if I can get focus here the auto ratchet blade. It was actually stuck over there at zero. Come on, focus. Anyways, all right guys, so this is what I noticed. This is the uh, the ratchet blade, the auto ratchet. You hear it clicking. That's how it changes the, um, the blade depth. It was actually at zero. Oh, you guys can see that. Sorry, the blade was actually, uh, you guys can't see it, but it was actually on zero. So, I'm not sure what's going on, but um, we're going to try it again. Hopefully, it will um, it will reset itself. So, let's go ahead and put it back into its carriage. And let's load another one. So, right now, I should have it set to 2. Not switching over. All right, this auto blade is not doing its job. 
Um, I'm not sure what's going on. It can't be broken. I just got it. So let's do this. Let's um, see. Each time it clicks, it changes the uh, the depth. I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a red line that goes across this thing that tells you the the depth of the cutting blade. It was stuck at zero. So let's see. If I manually move it, right? To all right, guys. So what I'm gonna have to do is manually change the blade to where it's supposed to be. Two. And then go to the software here and tell it that it's not an auto blade, it's a ratchet blade. And we'll keep it as two, so that way it won't try to change it. Like I said, I manually set the setting on the blade to be two. I'm changing this from auto blade to ratchet blade. Let's try it one more time, guys. Look at this. Why? Alrighty, let's hope this thing works out. I'm like running out of vinyl here. A lot more to print. Let's see. Okay. There's one, thank goodness. All right guys, well, that's it for today. Uh, I guess today or tonight, it's not my night. It's um, getting pretty late. Um, I'm gonna finish up tomorrow. At least I was able to print um, two, two shirts. I still got about five more to go. Um, oh, by the way, these are the shirts. They're the um, Gildan, the 500 gilding 5000 or whatever for the women's but anyways uh hopefully i can continue on tomorrow if not we're gonna do it monday i'm pretty busy tomorrow but let me see if i can just at least start cutting them man what a headache huh all right well that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a failure and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.